What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinner Channel 1, and welcome to episode 1 of Hitman. That is right, it is finally released, and I am so excited to bring this to you guys. For those of you that are new to the channel, this is a stealth channel, which means that we do things in a particular way. You're going to see Silent Assassin. You're going to see different ways of killing the targets. I've done pretty much every Hitman game except for Hitman 1, all Silent Assassin, and I want to make sure that I can help anyone else out there that uh, that might need it to be able to complete these levels in the coolest ways and to be able to do it with a little bit of style. So if you guys like the video, don't forget to, to leave a like because it really does help others able to see it. We want to make sure that this shows up in the search results on the first page. And for that to happen, I really would appreciate if you guys would, uh, of course, leave a like, share with your friends, and all that jazz. I don't talk during cutscenes. I try to give good, concise commentary over only gameplay and definitely not over any of the story elements. I'm going to be covering this game fully, which means you're going to see all of the challenges, all of the different ways to complete the unique kills, and everything in between. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the Patreons out there that make it possible for me to continue to do what I love to do. Now, I've bored you to death. I'm ready to do this, and I know you are as well. It's go time. For those of you wondering, I am playing this on the PC, max settings at 1080p, 60 frames a second, of course. I'm actually using two GTX 980 Ti's running an SLI. I know, that's overkill for 1080, but I want to make sure that I can get the super sampling up as much as possible to show you just how amazing this game looks. And I am so ready for this. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Training. Your first mission originally took place in Sydney, Australia. The target was Calvin Ritter, also known as the Sparrow. Master thief for hire, specializing in rare and priceless art. Our agent cleverly infiltrated Ritter's private yacht during a social gathering and discreetly eliminated him without any of the guests noticing. Now you will do the same. Oh, and don't worry about the training operatives. All weapons are simulated. Good luck, Initiate. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Remember, this has obviously already been seen from the beta, so if you want to uh, skip forward, go ahead and do so. I will make sure to put a timestamp in there so you guys can watch the new stuff for the episode. Hey, buddy. I'll have to stop you there. Hey, I gave you an order, buddy. 
So the uh, first couple of sections are pretty much a guided tour here on how to uh, get used to the controls. <clears throat> I will only be taking out the targets. As far as killing, I will be using disguises in this. I will have separate walkthroughs for suit only. But this full episode you put on his clothes. That's a first. Might just work though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad initiate. All right, so as I was saying, this episode is only going to be using disguises, obviously, so pretty much what Agent 47 would do in this situation. And it's going to be the full episode, Such an eye for including the prologue and Paris. The fabrics, the I will also have separate videos for the so showstopper mission, uh, completing the different challenges, as well as doing suit only and all that. Lots of coverage for this game. Is your target. Yeah, this is gonna Calvin be messy Whitten. if we let the mechanics through here, so uh you need to go back. Agent 47's not kidding around, huh? Okay. Unlike mechanics, the cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. These methods that I will be showing you in the prologue, I have already actually done for the beta, so you guys pretty much know what you're going to see. Technology hates me. Back already? Sign, Buddy, you us the look finest thief the world is closing in, I see. Well done, Initiate. The next generation will be breaking into computers, not museums and bank vaults. This is the universe's way of telling you to quit, to get out of the game while you still can. Funny how you and the universe always tend to agree. Isn't it? Anyway, you told me this Norfolk job will be your last. And now I overhear the crew talking about Istanbul and Stockholm? What gives, Calvin? I didn't lie, Callista. Look, you don't have to retire just because you leave the field. Most great players simply become managers. <laughs> you're recruiting. Ah, now you're catching on. The Sparrow cannot die. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. <laughs> well, not with that attitude, they don't. Mr. Norfolk, so good of you to fly down. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no thank you. No, uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent about that rule. My sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please, uh, lead the way. To the future. We are going to be invincible, Maureen. This merger couldn't come at a more opportune time. The world's biggest video rental chain. Okay, Captain. We should get back to the cruise liner. Not this way, though. Turn around. Get going. Say hello to Gopher and Isaac and Jewel. Wow. Alright, so we will not be saving as I'm going to be doing every mission in one go. That way it is smooth. Uh, definitely like more of a challenge since there is no difficulty setting that you could choose. I want to give myself any challenge that I can so I will not be using the save feature in this episode. So you got the blueprints. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk. And you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway? Some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of a revolution. 
50 years ahead of its time, maybe even more, maybe 75 or 100. I, I don't mean to boast, but whoever makes it to market first with this reactor will become the king of the world. Well, I'm rooting for you. Now what's that password? Always slips my mind. Give me a second. It's just... It's just nothing. Your target is down. Now head towards an exit. Well, simple taste Look at all those stupid snobs. They don't even know what's going on. Well, there's stuff in their faces. Every mission that I will be doing in every episode of the new Hitman series will be done with finishing the mission in our suit. Now that is of course for the main walkthrough. Again, you're going to see many, many videos that I will be showing you how to do it with just your suit, no disguises. So lots of content. I'm going to be really, really paying attention to everything that this game has to offer. Next up, we will have the chance to do this mission again, but we'll be able to come up with our own way for those of you that have not seen the beta, which is probably not a few, but I'm sure there's going to be some on here. Challenge complete. Good one, Agent. did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They can only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint. He could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching. All right, here we go. I have a special unique kill that we're going to be using. And for those of you that already seen it, you pretty much know what I'm going to do. What I feel to be the most unique kill and coolest kill in the mission. All right, so right now we need to wait on this guy outside. I'm a little upset that there isn't any options for you to pick the difficulty. It's all, I guess, just one difficulty. The cool thing, though, is there's a lot of different things to do. There's contracts. There's, I mean, just so many different uh, ways to play, you know, each episode. Elusive contracts, which are contracts that are made... Um, you can only kill them like one at a time, so if you miss the opportunity, then you lose that chance. So we're waiting on this guard to turn around. And we need to get to the third level, just like we were before. Now remember the target can spot us, 
so we want to hurry up, place the poison, and blend in as soon as we can. Well, I was hoping Giles would join the rowing team, but Cricket will just have to do it. And how are your kids? Back already? Buddy, making us look bad. Chew your food, why don't you? Lots of different ways to kill too. Uh, there's an opportunity there, which you can do suit only. That's the one that I did for suit only on this. <laughs> Cell phones. New ones broken too. I swear to God, Kalista. I think technology hates me. It's a sign, Calvin. You're the finest thief the world has ever seen, but things are changing. The next generation will be breaking into computers, not museums and bank vaults. This is the universe's way of telling you to quit, to get out of the game while you still can. Funny how you and the universe always tend to agree. Isn't it? Anyway, you told me this Norfolk job will be your last. And now I overhear the crew talking about Istanbul and Stockholm. What gives, Kelvin? I didn't lie. Impressive. But you don't have to retire. Not a man of simple taste, that Calvin Ritter. Saw this painting? An original Gorka? Thing is, I could have sworn it was stolen from the Stuyvesant's private collection in Boston a couple of years back. Huh. Well, Stuyvesant went broke, didn't he? Not with that Sunk like a stone. There you go, then. Probably just told his friends the painting was stolen, so he wouldn't have to admit that he was selling off his assets. Hmm. Sounds reasonable. Huh. One man's loss, another man's gain. Uh, oh man, I feel nauseous. Oh god, oh god. Alright, so we're gonna get set up. We are going to drown him. Now remember, this is such a very, very easy early mission to do. So you're gonna be able to accomplish this pretty easy. Actually, the whole game is way easier than ever before just because everything is pretty much laid out for you as long as you don't get caught doing stuff you will be able to pull off some of the coolest and unique ways to kill the targets however the challenge is going to lie in doing it suit only which the game will not help you with but that is one hell of a way to go to drown in your own puke So there are leaderboards for the Showstopper mission, which is the Paris mission. What that means is you're going to be able to be tested based off of points of not being seen and all that stuff. Also, the points rely heavily on time bonuses. So the quicker you complete, uh, say, a certain level, then the higher the grade you're going to get. With that being said, I am not a big fan on... Uh, you know, getting being in the top of the leaderboards based off of time. To me, I just I never like games like that. It, it, it takes away from the true challenge of completing something in a unique way. So the only way to get at the top of the leaderboards is going to be to do it uh, as fast as possible. So stay clear in here. There is a guy hanging right over there. Obviously, you can see you want to make your way quickly there. And we're good to go. Alright, it's time for the final test of the prologue. Now at the end of every mission it'll tell you which challenges that you've completed, but I've already completed them so therefore they won't show up. And it's time to move on to the final test. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough. Deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else for that matter. Someone erased his steps. 
Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just sped him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission, the high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This is your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program will not raise any eyebrows. He did not, however, factor me into the equation. If Sodas can bend the rules, then so can I. Good luck, Initiate. Alright, so I'm going to show you the most unique kill in this level. Which is, just so happens to be the funnest... Did you print out the safety protocol for the jet? Eh, it's on the clipboard. Look, do we really have to do this, all things considered? We're putting a pasty-faced egghead inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kinda think we do. <sighs> I get it, I get it. Safety first and all that. I don't care which one of you does it, it's mandatory. Just tick the box and get it done. Escape by fighter jet. Sounds dangerous. Make sure you eliminate the target quickly. He's still alive. We're not going to be doing any unnecessarily deaths in our walkthrough. Only targets. Again, for the purists out there, you can turn off all of those HUD options. Now, notice something that I want you to really, really pay attention to. As you saw when we took him out, his weapon is there. Guards can see weapons and they'll go and pick them up and put them in certain places. So if you strategically place a weapon somewhere, you're mm -hmm. able to pick it up later in a level where you would normally be able to bring a weapon into that section. So keep that in mind Doesn't for those sense. of you out there that the like want to do a kill a certain way kill. and you're trying to figure out it's how to get the weapon in there uh, without being spotted with it. Jasper Knight certainly knows how to make an exit, but first he needs to test the jet's safety equipment including the ejector seat. Ha. Huh. Knight says he's got documents on the other Soviet spies in the US. Documents that So I've been uh, replaying Absolution a lot and the controls are a little bit different than they were in Absolution, so I'm trying to get, you know, used to these new controls. Also, don't forget to make sure that you pick up the wrench as you will not be able to complete this without it. Now there are only two mechanics on this level that can actually see you and those are the two that you saw earlier. So make sure that they are not looking in your direction when you're doing this. Well done, Initiate. I dare say this is an accident waiting to happen. I think they've done a great job with the Glacier engine. I said in my previous Absolution walkthrough where I did suit only that uh, I said, how could Hitman look any better than that? And after playing this again in 4K and, and seeing the finished product, I really believe that this looks just so much more realistic and a more uh, kind of uh, a real world type of way as opposed to Absolution. You felt it was a game world. Jesper Knight, we gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Hey, bud. Ugh. Must we really? Is it dangerous? Well, it must be, mustn't it? Why else would... One cool thing is the amazing David Bateson is back, voicing Agent 47. 
always three iconic voices for video games in my eyes with uh, you know Solid Snake, Agent 47, and Sam Fisher. Obviously you could put Nathan Drake in there as well. I mean there's so many good and great voice actors out there but I just I could not see I don't want to see or believe in a, uh, a Hitman game without the amazing voice of David Bateson. Okay Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit please. Uh-huh. All right. Easy. One, one step at a time. Step one, strap yourself in. Uh, okay, all strapped in. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Yes, found it. Step three. Pull the ejector seat handle. Uh, right. Here it goes. Pull. The only way to fly. <laughs> And we're just going to get out of here nonchalant. I love the nod to uh, Jesper Knight that they did um, for Jesper Kidd, who was the composer for the original Hitman games, the first four. And uh, it looks just like his character. It looks just like him. I wish he was back doing the music. But uh, I love how, you know, they actually care about the people that uh, made Hitman what it is. And, you know, the, the music, the soundtracks in those original Hitman games are just as much a part of the story as anything else. All right, so we need to hurry up because things are going to start to get a little chaotic here if you wait too long. This, to me, is the funnest death to do in the final mission. And guys, we are ready. Hopefully, you guys are ready for Showstopper. Finally, it's time to move on to the Paris mission. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind, no name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 47.
powerful men have fallen by your hand, but by the same token, others have risen. Do you realize what kind of world you've been shaping? Does the ICA? Does your handler? I live in that world. I have seen the consequences. I have felt the cost. That's what defines me. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dalia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Margolis, beautiful and brilliant. She is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. All right, so it is time to prepare for our mission, the Showstopper. So you can choose which weapons you want to bring in. Uh, you can actually smuggle items in, so you can pick them up later. Uh, you can choose which suits you want. We're going to go with the tuxedo. We're going to play this as if you were starting from the very beginning. Uh, so the starting location will be the main entrance, but you can also, as you can see, choose between different locations that you would like to start as. Uh, so lots of replay value, obviously. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's pretty much all we're going to go for, the regular stuff. I've got two very unique kills that we're going to be doing. Um, I'm not in a rush. I'm not worried about, you know, completing this uh, as fast as possible. But I do want to show you guys some fun things and uh, enjoy the mission. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. It is time to do this. It's go time. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. How could you not feel like James Bond in this situation right here? Newly appointed head designer Sebastian. Cut. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Real considerate. Mind staying out of my shot? Such a beautiful game. All right, so there's two infiltration methods for those that want to go suit only. However, we're going to go right through the front door. He looks. Kind of similar to us. Might be able to take advantage of that. Good evening, sir. Welcome to San Quentin. Look, there he is. That's no. That the is Viktor Novikov, right there. head of San Quentin and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. Oh, 
Congressman Walsh. A pleasure as always. Uh, make sure to join Dahlia and I for a drink later. There's someone we would like you to meet. Now, uh, hold on. He's what? If you'll excuse me, Congressman, urgent matter. Do enjoy your evening. Goddamn artists. What the hell is he up to now? Again, I'm going to be showing you all the different challenges that you can complete in this game on different videos. So fear not, you will be able to see the full entirety of this whole area. Man, I wish I had that jaw. <laughs> Stop, you look fine. I know I look fine, but he's like a... like a Greek god or something, you know? I can't believe he's actually here, you know, like in the same room as us. Helmut Kruger's been my role model since college. According to our intel, Helmut Kruger is friendly with Dahlia Margolis. I suspect that Iago uses fashion models to infiltrate the lives of the rich and powerful, and Kruger is likely one of their spies. This conveniently obscures his features, and the two of you already share a striking resemblance. Oh my god, they, they, they know, they, they know. Okay. Oh, that's perfect, honey. Love it. I wanted to get into the pictures a little bit. <laughs> Although, technically, that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, you don't want to leave any trace of yourself, but I think we're going to be okay in that regard. Alright, so you can see there are just so many things around here that you can use for different deaths. All those things that light up are different opportunities for you to kill the target via accidents. So, so many challenges to complete, it's just ridiculous. Alright, so we need to head back here, and we're going to do that. You can just tell that every part of the level has been pains er, painstakingly made with such detail. Alright, so it looks like we got three guards up ahead. Right now we're not trespassing, but as soon as we enter here, we're actually going to be trespassing, so... Let's get with a little bit of stealth here. Alright, we got a guard coming up, so let's take it a little slow. Remember, this is a Hitman game, so timing is always crucial. Whenever you come into a level, once you actually get to know it, then you'll know where the enemies are. Whatever you're doing, oh, don't stop, don't stop. This is gold, Helmut. All right, so we need to get out, we need to get information about him. So obviously we don't want to take him out yet. That's not our goal right now. We'll wait for these guys to pass.
Natalia? Helmut. Uh, not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. I have. I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Fine. I'll, I'll be up after the show. Y yes, ciao. Alright, so we need to take his disguise. I just want to make sure that we're good. Make sure I follow where those guys are. Yeah, Dan, it's me. Oh, uh, you're watching the live feed. No, not anytime soon. Actually, I'm... I'm doing this thing for Dahlia Margolis. It might take a while. Don't ask. <laughs> of course. All right, so let's calm things down a little bit here. I just want to make sure the body is hidden. We also got a car call someone, so we're going to go ahead and do that while we're waiting here. Dahlia, Helmut here. Remind me again, where were we supposed to meet? Second floor, Voltaire Suite, next to the auction. Got Hello, it. Mr. You Carter. want me to drop by now, or...? No, no, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, and come see me right away. All right, so we're going to wait on him to pass us again. Let's get the body a little bit closer to where it's going to be. And you can see a bin right there. Always want to make sure you hide the bodies. And we're free to run around because we have the ultimate disguise to actually get around this entire level with nobody knowing who we really are because we look so much like this guy. So we need to get our makeup done because we've got a show to do. <laughs> well, at least this line looks like real clothes. That and you can see there's so many other yeah, you, different types yes, of diversions you know, and things that you can do. Closer. Mr. Kruger, need a touch-up, I see. No problem, just sit back and relax. We'll take a second. Appreciate I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. It is time to shake my little tush Decision time. Okay, uh, on the belt, catwalk. No belt. What's it gonna be? Ellie's gonna be on in a second. Perfect timing, Peter. Get out there and knock him dead. I know what you're all thinking. I make this look good. It's true. Alright, so we need to meet up with Margali. So that means we gotta head upstairs. You can always find out where they are by using your instinct.
But you don't even really need to do that because you see where our objective is. Does make this a little easy. Again, really the biggest challenges are for you to do it without being seen. And you can also see Mr. there's another Kruger. infiltration point here. So, so many different methods for you to be able to get in here, suit only. And I'm going to try to do multiple different ones. Multiple routes to get the most out of each episode. What's her story? You know, actually, I read this, um, this book about the fashion industry through the ages. Access to the auction and a private audience with Dahlia Margolis. Nicely done, for Please, have a seat. So, Helmut, you accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting. The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show. So Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York. Seek out Jessica and... Do what you do best. The girl is bright, young, beautiful. Should be right up your alley. And yet she's not the mark. My, you do catch on fast. No, that would be her father, CEO John Highmore. Jessica is your way in. Befriend him, get his trust. Highmore Consulting is planning a merger. I want to know with whom and at what price. All right, consider it done. And that's for you. Keep it on you at all times. Last resort. Cyanide. Good choice. We've got trouble. Well done, 47. Victor Novikov is next. This is not the only way that you could have done this. As you can see, there's also other methods for you to have distracted with the radio. You can turn on the sink. There's so many different things you can do. And of course, we haven't even begun to scratch the surface. You're in. Good work. So this is the auction of secrets. We'll leave that for another day. Uh, Mr. Kruger, let me know if you need new bodyguards. Okay? As you can see, I am free to go wherever I want. So now it is time to set up the final kill. Again... I will show you just one of many different ways. That's okay. Everything under control? We're going to be heading back outside to where we were. What's the stat on the second floor? Security is set. Enjoy the show, Mr. Kruger. Mr. Novikov, Decker here. I'm at the show. Well, we could hardly predict a pile-up on the freeway, could we? So you have a spot in mind, or...? Okay, fine. We'll wait in the lounge. A problem? Novikov is busy. Told us to stay put and enjoy ourselves. One of his security staff will come fetch us when he's ready. Tell you where we're going? Pavilion, Northwest Gardens. Said it was away from prying eyes. Oh. Novikov is meeting Max Decker, a senior agent in the Russian FSB. Small world. The FSB has been mounting a criminal case against Novikov, but Decker's boss, FSB Section Chief Nikolai Kamarov, committed suicide only last night. Or perhaps not. Either way, this could be a chance to catch Novikov away from the spotlight. Right that way, Mr. Kruger. Alright, you can see our target. We just need, actually, we pretty much, I guess, grab any... I guess maybe it's a specific bodyguard, but I'm pretty sure any bodyguard will actually work. So we're just going to wait here. 
for him to be coming back, and then we're going to make sure that we don't kill him, <laughs> of course. And we need to find a place to hide his body, so we're going to go inside there. Remember, we're free to move anywhere we want here as long as those specific targets don't see us. And in this disguise, you can go anywhere you want. However, we're going to be switching disguises now. As this disguise is no longer useful to us. even some more items to pick up in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this weapon here. And there's a specific reason for that is because NPCs, as I have mentioned earlier, can actually see weapons. And those weapons can, uh, can be used good or bad. Like say if you want a certain weapon to be left inside a particular location and you can't get in there because there are guards searching you then you will want to leave a weapon out for a guard to see and they'll take it back to a specific location where you need to go further in the mission uh, so there's a lot of different methods that you there. can use Mr. Decker Mr. Novikov will see you now I will escort you to the rendezvous point ah, great thank you lead the way Hide security man get to know All right, so we just need to head back to where we were. So what could happen? Let's say if we left that weapon where it was and we're escorting these guys. One of them could see the weapon and it could disrupt something that they're doing. It could hinder us in some sort of way like that. And we don't want that to happen. So therefore, we wanted to make sure that weapon was hid in a different location so as to not create any trouble while we are going to set up this kill. Hey there. Now this is where it's going to get a little bit more difficult. As you can see now, there are guards that are aware to our presence. So we need to be careful to make sure that we stay away from those specific guards. And there Escort lies the challenge. Mr. Novikov's order has been expected. Go ahead. Pretty much the only challenge uh, using different disguises are is that right there is to stay away from those guys. Other than that, uh, completing these missions are not very difficult. Again, the real true challenge lies in suit only. Now that we got him where we want him, we're going to well, set up well, outside of a place Why to where guards surprised. won't be able to see us. Well done, forty-seven. Novikov is about to meet with Decker, and you have a front row seat. Mr. Novikov, I'm at the pavilion. We did wait. Then your guide took us to meet you here, so which is it? I don't know. A security guy. Wore a uniform. Alright, fine. See you soon. coming. Our parking doesn't expire. So, uh, I, I gotta ask, Mr. Decker. Section Chief Komarov, was, uh, was that your handiwork? Look at these hands. I'm a bureaucrat, Carson. I don't go around staging perfect suicides. I love the way that when he blends into whatever uniform that he is in, he actually stands in that specific way. So if you're a waiter, he'll, and you like, don't touch him for a while, he'll do like a uh, waiter type of things. If you're a guard here, you could see that he stands kind of like in a bodyguard type of style. And again, right now we're just waiting for our target, who is on his way, he's almost here. I love that right there, look at him, he's like listening to his earpiece. Lots of little detail that really make you love this. Securing his legacy.
Remember, stay far back enough to where these guys won't see you. Mr. Decker. How are things at the office? That's 91 all over again. Kamarov is found dead, gun in hand, office locked from the inside. In his safe, evidence that he was leaking state secrets to Langley. An FSB section chief, Kremlin's golden boy, a CIA spy. <laughs> Look, I don't know who you hired to pull this off, but I want his number. Trust me, you don't. The case file, please. Right, right. Of course, last and only copy. There was an unfortunate server room fire at HQ. Misery loves coming. Oh, Mr. Decker. <laughs> you know, I do believe this is going to be the start of a beautiful friendship. The money's being wired to your account. Hmm. Do I need to call my guy in Switzerland? <laughs> Why, haven't you heard? I am an honest businessman. Do svidaniya, Mr. Decker. Ah, well, that's that. Take a stroll, would you, Kurt? I'd like to savor the moment. You sure that's wise, sir? I'll be fine. Boy, they tried to make it a little challenging for me there. Clean slate. Didn't come cheap, but it was damn well worth it. Victor, old boy. You're walking on water. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. And now you're swimming in it. Alright, so we need to locate an exit. There are multiple exit points for the levels. You can see one is right here next to the helicopter. Which is the one we're going to take. Because we're badass. Unfortunately, gone are the days of having that whispery sound when you're trying to escape. Or when you're trying to evade an enemy or something like that. So you won't be able to rely on sounds really anymore for that. So, again, as I said, in every mission, we are going to leave with our uniform, our suit. I don't want to get his attention right now, so that's why I'm walking. Mission accomplished. Just in time. Woo! What an ending. And we still is playing for good measure. Helicopter. Was Moscow. Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen.
smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor. Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. All right, ladies and gents, there you go. Mission accomplished. Let's see how we did. All right. As you can see, five stars. All the objectives complete. Total score 142. Um, we've done this mission a couple of times, so let's check uh, the leaderboards out. What is that? <gasps> Center Strain 01, number one? That's right. I, I know it ain't gonna last for a long time, but completing this mission, I was able to get number one doing the exact same method that you guys just saw there. However, as I have told you, you know, the biggest thing that required for, for this kind of stuff is completing the missions in the fastest time possible. So as you can see, time bonus, 25 minutes and 20 seconds. I wanted to take my time here as to show you guys kind of more of the level and not to rush too much. But you can complete this mission a lot faster in the same method and get a higher score. So I challenge you out there to beat that score. Obviously the game is not released yet, so I imagine people are going to be beating it. But it's still fun to compete with you guys and to post your scores. Let me know what you get and I will be more than happy to challenge. Also, this is the PC version, so if you're playing the PC version, give me a contract and I will be more than happy to try to complete it as well. And we can have some friendly competition and all that jazz. So, as you saw, I've only completed four different types of assassinations. And you can see how many more that there are. It is amazing how many opportunities you have to do really really cool stuff in this so there will be plenty more videos showcasing all of the challenges feats and uh, just pretty much everything you could think of so hopefully you guys enjoyed again don't forget to leave a like as it really 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 helps the channel out and of course I appreciate everything that you guys do for the channel and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, of course. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter for all of the latest updates on Center Strain 01. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Agent 47. Peace out. Bitches!